This past year, my job as Education Program Manager has been very interesting. Part of that is because we took all of our K-12 programs and found a way to be able to offer them virtually. But part of my goal was also being able to make virtual programs that are engaging to the students. So for example, we had tech tours and normally high school tech theater students would come to our theater and get a behind the scenes tour with one of our production managers. We decided to go ahead and film that so that we could show footage of it. But I also wanted to incorporate a time where the kids could have a live Q&A with the production manager to ask more specific questions. So we were able to offer quite a few tours. And in fact, we offered the tour to 300 students, which is almost double what we normally are able to accommodate when we're in person. When COVID shut us down, we had just finished once on this island and I had thought, you know, again, I, we'd be back and shorter and I can't believe it's been you know, over a year in some aspects and in other aspects, I definitely feel it's been over a year. Um, kind of what I've been doing. So I'm so excited to welcome both our staff and our patrons back in, but I think the thing that I'm the most excited about is I really can't wait to see that first standing ovation. <laughs> I always love the energy and the electricity that you get from that because it's just the most incredible feeling to see all these people. And we see 3000 people every night for a sold out performance. So being able to see everyone stand up and like thank the actors for what they just put on and what they went through to put that on for us is just the most unifying, wonderful, experience so I can't wait to see that again. <laughs> the the biggest thing that's going to be the most exciting for for me and the crew backstage is going to be having a live audience in the building. Uh, the the atmosphere and the the energy in the room especially that first night of Hamilton uh, is going to be something that's not to be missed and that that is what I cannot wait to get back to. If you are thinking about donating to ASU Gamage I would say that this is definitely the perfect place for your money. We are not just about Broadway. We offer programs to our community. We offer programs to benefit students who may not ever have stepped foot into our theater. And so your money contributes to us being able to offer them programs like our tech tours and showing them what it's like <clears throat> behind the scenes and um, our school to work program, which shows them what careers are possibly out there for them. And so your money is going to be directly impacting the lives of children and our communities. So. If you haven't donated yet, know that this is the right place for you. For those who are considering donating to ASU Gamage, I would really hope that you would get to know all the programs that we do here at Gamage. Our Broadway series is very well known, but we have other series such as the Beyond series and all our K-12 programs, which couldn't happen without donors like you. To those who have already donated, I would say thank you for helping us throughout this very difficult time. Um, we know that not everybody has been able to, but to everyone who has been able to help us, we're really appreciative of that. To those who have already given, thank you so much for having faith in us during this incredibly difficult time. Our lobbies in our house aren't quite open yet, but we have been able to work every single day because of you to make sure that we are bringing you back with the best experience possible. Mm -hmm.